special place. It is called Cause for Paws. They have a special mission. It is more than just surface, what you see here, although the surface is beautiful. There is a deep, deep cause. So I'm seated here with the owners, the founders of Calls to Paws. So I want to welcome Adair, and I also want to welcome her husband, Darren. Thank you for joining me. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, my question is, we know that we have are in a pandemic. We've gone through a pandemic. Um, and you have a lovely, lovely shop here. Um, tell us how the vision came about, and then we'll get into going through the pandemic and where you are now. Okay. And your goals. Okay. I'll tell you how it came to me, and it was very special, and I won't forget it ever in a million years because it was just so wonderful. But my sister knew I was not quite happy with what I was doing. I mean, I was very profitable in my business over at the White Orchid Spa. That's what I owned. But something she said to me, which caught my attention, she said, why don't you listen to something called The Secret? And so I did. And I listened to that beautiful, magical, wonderful music, and it just sent my soul into, this, into the universe. All night long I listened to it play over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I felt that feeling of, okay, when I woke up in the morning, the next morning, I said, this is, this is something special. And I said, I know what I'm going to do. It just came to me like a bullet. It was just like, I want to open up a thrift store for animals and, you know, have people bring in, donate things to the store. I sell them. I turn it into cash. I give it to the charities. And then, then I'm helping. I'm making a difference. I'm going to be worth something soulfully not money wise but soulfully and my wife sold high-end women's clothing for a long time before she mm -hmm. started her successful spa mm -hmm. and i knew she had clientele but i was uncertain just how the outpouring of the public would be you know her clientele would be loyal to her but what would well, you know how many people would donate clothing how many people would donate de gently used items and decorative items and jewelry and furniture and, and everything you can think of um, and they came and they donated the people of Lincoln and the surrounding areas have been incredibly generous um, it's important to remember too that we do not own the stores you cannot own a charity we simply direct a charity okay. she's the president um, I'm the vice president and the treasurer and then we have other directors on the board Board and, and secretary and things like that but it's I just see. been amazing the generosity of people and we she always wanted this store to be not like your typical thrift store you know that kind of you know things are a little shabbily presented uh, it's not about presentation mm -hmm. it's just you, you find something you buy it and then you leave you come in here it's service orientated it's clean all the clothes are inspected they're steamed they're laundered anything that can't be sold at this store that we feel like it's not not going to fit our level of quality. We give away to churches, to other charities where it can be of some use. Then you would pass it on to a, to another. Yeah. Like Salvation Army or the Indian Center is a, a good one. Also the Afghan people that are now coming into the United States, they need help as well. So we send things to them too. That's wonderful. And How was your business affected by the pandemic? Did you see, did you have to make any changes, modifications? Did yes. You, yes. What did you have to um, adjust? We or? noticed a dramatic drop in you know March and April right when everybody realized that this is coming this is real mm -hmm. there was a drastic decline in sales I'm saying probably at least 50 percent drop in sales if not more uh, we had to contact our landlord who owns this building uh, wonderful elderly gentleman that lives out in Broken Bow and we we told him the situation he was very very compassionate very caring and he was very understanding and he said well just pay me what you can pay me we pay over six thousand dollars a month for this mm -hmm. store for rent it's mm -hmm. it's six thousand square feet and that's actually a, a good bargain no it, it's an old blockbuster store Goodness. it's an old blockbuster oh, really? store yeah. so I yeah. guess it's capitalism, but it's become something that's been a, a compassionate right. project. So we, we noticed that decline during that period, and then 
at the same time, people realize that they need to start watching the money that they spend. You know, there were people going buying toilet paper like crazy, but they still needed other things. So they started thinking about other options that they could stretch their dollar out farther. Mm -hmm. So then we noticed a slight increase after about March and April. We noticed the sales were starting to come back up, and they they, they kept time. declining. They Big kept time. declining because people mm -hmm. knew they could come here, right. and they could you know you couldn't go here for a, an absolute specific item, but you could go here. And and you know, you, you, you know, can't always get what you want, but mm -hmm. sometimes you get what you need. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. Mick Jagger. Um, <laughs> you know, they came here and they found what they needed. You know, yes. for that day, for a really good price. You yes. know, and and it helped them out. And we're talking about people that that lost their jobs and had to sell their homes and move into a different apartments and that needed some furniture and they needed some more clothing they needed some more appliances things like that. Mm -hmm. They came here and mm -hmm. they they made out with a, a, a lot of wonderful things. Tell me, what are your goals for 2022? Well, we did now, even though we had the pandemic, we were above 20% this year of our sales from last year. Mm -hmm. So we really are doing better. I think Good. Google's really helping us. My ultimate goal is to get some more stores started. I also want to um, get involved in, in like maybe a rescue place where people can go with their animals and you know a place like that would be nice mm -hmm. we, we have some things that we're really really wanting to do okay. but right now you know with the money situation we're waiting to see how things end up but for 2022 our realistic expectations mm -hmm. in the short term are simply we don't have enough space this is 6,000 square feet. We thought it was going to be enough. It's not. It's not. So we're actually going to see if we can get somebody to donate to us, or we're going to have to buy them ourselves, two 20-foot shipping containers. And we've drawn up some plans, and we're going to submit them to the state. Unfortunately, we might be in a situation where we actually need an architect, a licensed architect, to submit those plans to the state so we can buy two 20-foot shipping containers to put them outside. That way when, like say when the spring uh, clothing season ends, we're gonna be, anything that doesn't sell, we're gonna be able to pack them up and put them in those containers. Oh, I see. So that way we've got more space for all the other items. Um, and we're trying all these different avenues to advertise, to simply get more foot traffic so we can get more revenue, so we can open up that store in Omaha. So mm -hmm. we can, you know, possibly build that shelter. Mm -hmm. I also want to thank everybody in the surrounding areas and in Lincoln, Nebraska, who's been so generous to our store. You've blessed us with many items that we've been able to turn the, these items into money and help these precious pets that we love so much. We love them dearly. We love you for coming and caring about the animals, for shopping in our store, for supporting our store. It is just means so much to me. I love animals so much that sometimes it's a burden to my soul because I really carry it deeply inside of me. It's just something that I will always have and always, till the day I die, it will be number one in my life. And that's why I love this store. Thank you.